Hi guys, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. On today's video, I'm gonna show you every single color of the Laura Mercier color infusion blushes. You guys know that that's one of my favorite formula of blushes. It used to be Becca, Nars, and Laura Mercier. Right now, Nars and Laura Mercier are my top favorites. And since I have almost every shade except for Ginger, I wanted you guys to see them swatch on my cheeks. So this is a long-term video. When you see this video, it took about 14 days. I think I have 14 colors or 10 colors at least. So it took at least 10 days to film this video. So you will be seeing me wearing different makeup looks because each day I'm gonna be trying a new blush. And when I'm done with the filming, then I will edit this and upload it. So I hope you enjoy. Let me know if you wanna try these blushes. The formula of them is amazing. I'm gonna be leaving the swatches and then I'm gonna be talking about the blushes and the formulas and just uh, my thoughts on them so that you can hear my review while watching all of the colors applied on my cheeks. So if you wanna see all these Laura Mercier blushes swatched on my cheeks, then just keep on watching. The Laura Mercier blushes have a sheer buildable formula that it's supposed to be as long lasting as 10 hours. I find that they last all day on my skin and this is one of my most favorite formulas. I decided to go in order of the ones that I love to the ones that I don't like. So the color Chai is one of my favorites. It's definitely my most used color and it's one that I could repurchase over and over and that from time to time I will carry and put into my kit because it's the perfect shade for any eye look that you want to create. Create. Makeup artist tip, I love mixing this with the Dior Rosy Glow in 001 Pink, it's beautiful. Then for the color Fresco is my second favorite and this one is a Sheen Brown Nude. It's one of my most used again because it has the perfect nude tone. It's a brownie tone which is hard to find. It pulls a little bit pink on me which I don't mind, I love the, the look. And it, the sheen, the glitter that you see in it, it turns out to be the most beautiful sheen on the skin. It doesn't look glittery on the cheeks even though it has speckles of glitter and I love that. I, I'm using different brushes um, but the ones that I'm using the most are the BK Beauty brushes with uh, Angie Hot and Flashy. The third shade that I love is All That Sparkles and it's a Shimmer Dirty Rose. So it's similar in that tone to the one in Chai, but it has more of a pink tone to it, I find. And the sheen is beautiful on the cheeks. From this rose gold collection, I got only two and one of them is my least favorite, which you will see, <laughs> it's the last one that I will show you. So this one has the base of the color Chai, but the sheen that we saw on the Fresco color. A strawberry is the next shade. This is the fourth shade of my favorites. I'm gonna only mention them by number until the fifth, but a strawberry is beautiful. It's the perfect pink. It's one that you will see in my favorite pink blushes. This is one of those shades that work whether you're doing a warm tone look or a cool tone look. It's the perfect neutral pink color and I love it. And it comes down to what you prefer when it comes to finish of blush, but they both sheen blushes and matte blushes from Laura Mercier work beautifully. Only had two shades that didn't work for me and you will see them at the end. Then this color peach is a sheen light coral. I had two and I gave one to my sister-in-law Daniela and she already finished hers completely. She said that it was her favorite formula that she has ever tried and this one is beautiful. You have to build it up a little bit more but since she has a fair skin tone, she's really really light in skin tone, it worked beautifully on her and it looked more orangey on her. On me, it actually looks like the coral color that it's described on the website. I would highly recommend this one if you want an everyday shade and you have fair to light skin tone. Being the formula that they are, these blushes are meant for people that want to actually have more control over the amount of blush that they put on and you can build them but they're not going to be as pigmented as a NARS blush from the start. Now for passion fruit, this is a warm coral luminescent pink and this one surprised me when I was filming the video because this was one of my latest 
additions to my Laura Mercier blushes and I wasn't using it that much because I would always go to chai and fresco and um, strawberry but when I apply this on the cheeks this is stunning you guys this is one of my favorites for sure even though I put it on these places because it was new to me but this is one that I reach for a ton and it's perfect for summer it's one of those shades that you can pair with everything as well because coral is uh, more on the neutral side coral you can use with cool tones and warm tones and it will work amazingly and this blends like a dream with the beautiful sheen that you saw on fresco as well another thing that i noticed is that since these blushes are sheer i will always prefer to use a more dense brush with them so this is bellini a matte peachy coral blush it's perfect for this time of the year and it blends up beautifully like i said these are matte and when i turn my face you can see that even though they give me color my skin will peek through and this is something that i know a lot of people do not like but in my opinion it gives you a more natural flush to the cheeks and also if you want more coverage you can build that up with your foundation it doesn't have to be with your blush now for the shade rosé this is one that would work perfectly if you have a medium skin tone but it can also work for a light skin tone as you can see this is a matte rose pink and it's beautiful on the cheeks as well this is perfect for the mother of the bride uh, when you want to do a light wash of color to the eyelids and then brighten them or make them look awake on the cheeks i find that this is a versatile color rose tones are not my favorite you guys unless it's a dirty rose or a nude rose but this is just okay for me color wise but the formula is as perfect as all of the matte laura mercier blushes that i've tried then for grapefruit is a sheen red coral this is beautiful in finish and i like the shade but i find myself not using a lot of reddish tones when it comes to blushes not even my orgasm x which used to be a favorite but this is perfect for summer again and the sheen from these blushes is insane and i find that you don't need highlighter with them when you're wearing them for the perfect winter shade when it comes to these blushes is the sangria it's a sheen plum berry and on me this one it's highly pigmented so on this one i could use a brush that wasn't so dense as the one from bk beauty because even though they blend beautifully you can see that it's still a sheer blush the um, undertone of it it's really strong on me it pulls a little bit berry plum and a little bit fuchsia on my skin so i had to blend it up with a dual fiber brush but the finish is still beautiful now for the shade watermelon it's a cool luminescent pink and this one even though i love the shade a ton i didn't like that i had to build it quite a bit for it to show on my skin but then of course right after you build it you can see that it has a beautiful tone underneath the sheen as well and it's also the perfect summer shade or spring shade if you are light in skin tone so for me this is still one of the good ones then this is where things go south these two are not my favorite the ones that are coming this is peach shimmer and these i thought i was gonna adore because it has the name peach so i thought i was gonna love it the same as the peach one but these doesn't show up you can see that i'm here trying to apply it and build it and build it and then on my other cheek i have the one from the rose gold collection called all that shimmers which i'm showing right now which is beautiful but then i turn my head and this doesn't even show up Waba is a matte like pink coral and this one you guys didn't show up at all you can see it right here like for me this is a fail when it comes to my skin tone i already decluttered it and gave it to my sister-in-law daniela for her to try it i wasn't willing to give it a second shot since i was decluttering my collection this one it took too much building and it was basically not what i was expecting so i would keep all of them except for the last two that i showed you guava and peach shimmer okay you guys i hope you have enjoyed this video it took a while to film but i'm pretty happy that i filmed it i was just wanting to do this for a long time i actually wanted to do this last year but because of my pregnancy i was feeling so sick that i didn't really have the energy to film a long-term video like this one but i just wanted to do this if you want to see my nars blush collection since I have a lot of blushes from NARS, then let me know when I can start filming this so that you can see it in about maybe one or two months because I have so many NARS blushes. If you want to see that, I would 
really love to do that or film that for you guys. And we can do it with every single uh, blush collections that I have. The ones that I have more than three blushes, we can actually do that. I can even divide the NARS blushes into color schemes. So the pinks, the nudes, uh, the winter shades or seasonal colors. If you want to see that, I would love to do that too. Just let me know below what you want to see next on my channel so that I can write it on my list of videos. And if you enjoy this, please let me know with an emoji your favorite shade of blush that you love to wear for an everyday blush and your favorite blush in your entire collection. That's it you guys. I love you and I guess I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.